before this match starts. Maybe some good sportsmanship. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's asking maybe not. Oh, too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. But well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. Yeah, well, this business isn't about making friends, Cole. Sometimes you have to draw a line in the sand and let others know, I'm not your friend, pal. It's not pretty, but it's effective. Discus punch! Gacy has lost any sense of command in this one. R-Truth with impressive offense here. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Joe is not taking this lying down anymore. Now's a chance for Gacy to get back into this match. Belly to belly suplex. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? Give up now, swallow your pride, and submit. Just hang up. He better think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute, there it is. That's a counter with style. Drop. As we've seen time and time again, Joe Gacy loves to get into his opponent's heads. Loves to create conflict and doubt where there previously was none. Exactly, Cole, which is why when you're facing off against Gacy, you have to shut out the noise. Sure, Gacy's saying some interesting things that are all, of course, true, but you can always wait until after the match to acknowledge that. Ah, yes. oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. And Gacy is firmly in command. Yeah, somehow Truth has to turn the tide. And Truth capitalizes there. And that can be a first step towards Truth gaining control. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. And we just saw some serious offense. Whip back into the ring. Truth wants to fly. From the top. Nobody home on that. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Truth caught by surprise. We're going to see it. Good wrench power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Leg drop! <laughs> Sidewalk slam. He thinks he has it. Quick shoulder up. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Shoves them away to create some needed space here. Brought down with a DDT. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. We're going to see it. Gut wrench power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Hello, H's shoulder ahead of the count. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Boom! Vicious right forearm. That's a bad landing. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. And now Joe Gacy is feeding off the energy in the WWE Universe. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Looking for the rings of Saturn. It's, it's a it's clean. Arms locked across the face, and this is just bending the neck in a way it's not supposed to. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God, submit. Fight again. Live to fight and Trap the no Go trying to muscle out of this. Look at the heart, the determination. Got it. Oh, Building momentum. Here's another one coming. Boom. Don't throw a punch. 
Walter. Don't throw a punch. Oh. Big mistake. He must have seen that coming. Look at their opponent from behind, driven down. Rings of Saturn applied. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might be the smart move. And that's it, Gacy able to get the win. Here is your winner, Joe Gacy. You hate to see it after a hard-fought match. They just couldn't seem to shut them up in this one. It looks like the lack of respect will continue on for now. I think this win might just embolden them moving forward. The way they see it, they proved they were right. It is time for the crowd to take pictures and the competition to take notes. Oh, Prince Pretty has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from seasonal residencies. Weighing in at 212 pounds, the PC champion, Tyler Breeze. He owns many homes around the world. Tyler Breeze. Very accomplished superstar here in WWE. You know, guys, Breeze flew here on a private jet direct from Milan just to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. Oh, what a nice guy. If being gorgeous is a crime, lock this man up. And he knows a thing or two about the legality of looking good. Fashion police in the house. As dangerous in the ring as he is fashionable outside of it. Well, guys, this ring's about to turn into a bar room. Here comes Brooks Jensen. And his opponent from Redburn, Alabama, weighing in at 243 pounds, Brooks Jensen. Beers and brawling on the menu tonight with Brooks in action. Yeah, certainly not a man you want to anger in the ring or in a bar. One thing about Brooks is he knows when to hold him and knows when to fold him. Yeah, but Byron, I don't think he knows how to walk away or how to run. He is as fearless as they come. Brooks Jensen in the ring tonight, a gifted brawler who is looking to make a big impact and have fun doing it. What you love about Jensen is how he just goes all out in the ring. He's not looking to do a bunch of fancy stuff. He just wants to land hard hits and get the win. That's right, and once he's done that, he can kick back and celebrate with a cold one. And Tyler Breeze may be pretty, but he has an ugly chip on his shoulder. He's proven time and time again that he can hang with the best competition around, and he wants to do that again here tonight. Breeze is feeding off the WWE Universe. Neckbreaker! Ouch! Tossed into the corner. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Just never had a chance to block any of those. And Jensen gets that turn back on him. To the DDT. He's on the road. 
ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pan. Oh, had that well scouted. Big forearm. Great defense by Tyler Breeze. Oh, man, landing awkwardly. Jensen falling victim to an onrush now. Yeah, Breeze is proving hard to keep up with. Watch out! Oh, straight to the floor! Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. If you want to get the better of Tyler Breeze, you have to strategize around his high stamina. So attack his core and legs. Anything to drain his energy and slow him down. Sound strategy, Corey. Making it harder for Tyler to catch his breath and keep up the pace of the match would certainly put him at a disadvantage. Tilt the wall, DDT! Lives to fight another day. Oh, what a wind-up. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. He may be in a bad way here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Look at these vicious stops in the corner. Ooh, just relentless. And any one of those shots can take you out for good. Jeez. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Super kick. Breeze has him marked. Beauty shot! Jensen's down, and he might be out. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing the between these superstars lately. A drive to prove it. Oh, the champion. Showing off the championship to the WWE fans, and look who's here. This superstar taking interest in the champ, and the champ is saying, you want some? Come on down. Behold the Nigerian giant. An absolute colossus. When it comes to Omos, there is no preparing. Just brace for impact. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian Giant Omos! The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. You're right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't under any circumstance ever want to mess with. Brute offense, scary athleticism, and even scarier mean streak. WWE, behold the Nigerian giant. And there is no turning back when facing Omos. Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, Tsunami! The ring needs to be reinforced when Omas sets foot inside it. This man does not care who he annihilates. All-consuming, overwhelming power. To see Omas is to believe that giants don't just exist in fairy tale books. 
Omos is on a mission to dominate sports entertainment and steamroll over the competition until there is no one left. And we're about to see how he fares against Big Bronson Reed. Because it's nothing personal. Destroying the competition is just the business Reed is in. Slam, toss them across the ring. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And Reed with a counter. Big boot! Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Strong takedown. That is, Omas is coming through with that offense. Oh, and a reversal. Ooh, that'll mess up your shoulder. Corey, how can anyone even begin to approach a competitor with the size and strength of Omas? That's a great question, Cole. I think you have to approach Omas like the redwood of a man that he is. If you can start chopping down his base, he won't be able to generate those powerful blows or use those devastating slams. At least not with the usual terrifying frequency. Oh my God, right over the top and hit hard. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, look at this. Lights out, face first. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. The foot DDT. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Amash showing his personality matches his stature. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Wow, what timing beats the count. Seemed like a count out to me, guys. Uh-oh. Shark slam! Just a raw display of power from Omos. The athleticism from a man his size is just terrifying to behold. Now Omos needs to end this. You know, I've noticed some fruit. Oh, what a victory. What a win. And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. It's not about feelings, it's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs.